Welcome to another We Are Saintly Saint of the Day series. In this video, join us in this new video as we delve into the transformative power of the prayer for my family in difficult times. This prayer is a beacon of divine guidance and spiritual connection. Let's get started. I come to you today with a prayer for my family in difficult times, a plea from my soul that I know echoes in so many other hearts as well. In these times of trial and uncertainty, prayer for my family in difficult times has become my steadfast anchor, the place I return to again and again seeking God's peace and perspective when my own wisdom falls short. As much as I wish I could shield my loved ones from hardship, the truth is storms will come. Scripture warns troubles are inevitable in this fallen world, in this world you will have trouble. My role is not to control circumstances or outcomes for my family, though I desperately wish I could. My sacred calling is to cover them in ceaseless prayer, blessing them with my belief in a good, loving God who redeems all sorrows for those who seek Him. And so daily, I offer up this sincere prayer for my family in difficult times, Lord Jesus, we need you. Things feel shaky and uncertain, but you stand firm through every storm. Draw us close, speak hope to our hearts, show us how to love each other well in this season of strain, shield us from harm and despair. God, we know you use hard times to invite us deeper into your mercy and power. Teach us, Lord. Fill us with resurrection life so that when this fiery trial passes, we stand transformed by your redeeming grace. Help us believe the promises of Romans 8:28. In all things, you work for the good of those who love you. Pour out your spirit upon us. May praise and thanksgiving resound from this family you so dearly love. We open our hearts to you, our refuge and fortress, now and forever. Prayers for strength and comfort during family hardships. When hardship strikes our family, it can shake us to our very core. Grief, illness, job loss, conflicts, these difficult times test our faith and resilience. But we must remember that God promises to be near to the brokenhearted. He will give us the strength, courage, and comfort we need during seasons of struggle if we call upon Him. As it says in Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Let's bring our family burdens to our loving Father and trust that He hears every prayer for my family in difficult times. In those dark nights when tragedy and sorrow threaten to overwhelm, pray these words of King David in Psalm 94, 18 minus 19, when I said, My foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Pray for God's unfailing love and consolation over your household, soothing anxiety and giving hope. As you experience his comfort, your family will be drawn together in a bond of care and compassion. Prayers for unity and togetherness when families feel divided. Hard times can sadly divide families sometimes. Tensions run high, relationships become strained. Words are said that make hearts ache. In the chaos, it's easy to focus on our differences instead of what unites us. But families are worth fighting for, and unity takes humility and intention. As the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians 4-3, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. In every prayer for my family in difficult times, ask the Lord to create a refuge of peace within your home. Pray prayers of blessing over each member of your family, asking God to soften hearts and open lines of healthy communication. As Colossians 3.13 says, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Pray for the grace and courage to forgive. Speak healing and reconciliation over relationships suffering discord. God's plan is to prosper families, not harm them, as Jeremiah 29, 11 assures, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Prayer for my family in difficult times for financial blessings. Few things breed anxiety and strife quicker than financial strain. Debt, job issues and economic hardship can weigh heavily on families sometimes pushing relationships to the breaking point. But in Christ, there is always hope and help if we seek Him in prayer. As James 1-5 promises, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Bring your worries and needs to God in every prayer for my family in difficult times. Ask for His wisdom and blessings over your household's finances. Pray blessings from Deuteronomy 28, 12 over your family, the Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of His bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. Ask God to rain down His bountiful provision and protect your family from lack. Pray for new jobs, relief from debts, prosperity in investments, believe God for miracles. As you cast your cares upon Him, you will experience the peace of Christ as described in Philippians 4-6-7. 
Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Prayer for my family in difficult times for healing and recovery when family members are sick. The adversity of illness striking a loved one busts open the door for fear and despair. Long hospital stays, painful treatments, chronic conditions, disease takes an awful toll, not just physically but emotionally. The infirm need prayers, and caregivers need strength too. Take comfort in God's promise from Psalm 103 2-3, Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Bring your petitions for healing before the great physician who cares deeply and has power over all maladies. In every prayer for my family in difficult times, ask God for renewed health and wholeness. Trust his goodness. Pray scriptures of restoration over your beloved family members such as Jeremiah 30, 17, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Ask God for energy, comfort, and daily help for those nursing their loved ones during this hard season. May the Lord pour out his Holy Spirit upon your household for a fresh infusion of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and self-control. As Galatians 5.22 promises, the fruit the Spirit produces is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Surround your family with prayer always. God is near and he is able. Believe for miracles. Prayers for protection and safety when families feel vulnerable. Our world seems increasingly unsafe and frightening lately. Between health pandemics, climate disasters, crime and violence, families feel exposed and worried about future calamities. Hard times stir up fear and worst-case thinking. But even when dangers loom, God promises to guard and keep those who abide in Him. Bring your requests for protection and safety to the Lord, trusting His mercy and might. Deuteronomy 31-6 offers sweet assurance, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified, for the Lord your God goes with you, He will never leave you nor forsake you. In every prayer for my family in difficult times, plead the covering of Christ over your household. Pray Psalm 91 as a daily declaration of faith over your home. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Visualize God encamping legions of mighty angels around your family. Ask for height and discernment and wisdom to avoid unnecessary risks. Praise Him who promises in Psalm 121 to 7 minus 8, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Prayers for wisdom and guidance during family transitions. Life brings many changes, children growing up and moving out, aging parents needing care, job relocations tearing apart roots. Families must weather many seasons of transition requiring difficult adjustment. It's hard to know the best path forward when everything feels unsure and unsettled. But God sees our way clearer than we can and understands what we truly need. James 1-5 assures, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Seek the Lord's direction through prayer and scripture. Listen for his still, small voice guiding you gently as promised in Isaiah 30, 21. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. Trust God to lead your family step by step through every new phase, transition, and challenge. In times of decision and doubt, pray for the Lord's clear wisdom over your household and for unity in following His plans. Believe God for a future filled with promise and purpose according to Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. See every prayer for my family and difficult times as a seed of faith and blessing for the path ahead. Prayers for patience and resilience in the midst of family stress. Hardship strains even close-knit families sometimes. Nerves wear thin. Tempers flare. People get prickly and isolated. Exhaustion breeds impatience with others and with life's burdens. But God promises to renew us when we wait on Him. As Isaiah 40, 31 says, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Bring your family before God, asking Him to impart fresh energy, optimism, and emotion resilience. Pray for attitudes of gratitude and grace towards one another, and keep praying through all adversities. Persevering prayer for my family in difficult times cultivates holy fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Cling to Christ in the storm. He will uphold you. 
echo David's psalm of desperate dependence from Psalm 13 to 5 minutes 6 in every prayer for my family in difficult times, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. However deep the valley, God's strength and songs are ever available to the seeking heart. Teach your family to number blessings even in hardship, nourishing gratitude. Remind each other that trials are temporal but glory awaits eternally. As scripture says in 2 Corinthians 4 17, for our light and momentary trouble are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Fix eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith. His grace will sustain you. Prayer for my family in difficult times for hope and encouragement when families feel despair. Hardship can devastate hope. Crushing obstacles block dreams for the future. Fear whispers that difficulties will never lift. But beloved, God specializes in resurrection and redemption. Bring your disappointments and despair to the Lord who promises in Lamentations 3 23 because of the Lord's great love. We are are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. In every prayer for my family in difficult times, stir up expectancy for breakthrough, believing God for new mercy at sunrise. Let praises rise for coming victory even before you see it. As Romans 4:17 declares, God calls into being things that were not. Boldly call into being blessings for your family during this dark valley, provision, healing, reconciliation, purpose. Declare God's promise from Sephaniah 3:17. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you, in his love he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Listen for heaven's song over your household, let it reignite your hope. Like Habakkuk, choose to rejoice in the God of your salvation even when fig trees do not blossom and olive crops fail. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will be joyful in God my Savior. As a family, make praise and thanksgiving a daily discipline, watering seeds of joy that can bloom in every season. Let love triumph over despair. God's mercy flows fresh at sunrise. Prayer for my family in difficult times for reconciliation when families experience conflict. Every family endures conflict at times. We hurt those closest, sadly. Pride fuels petty differences into raging fires destroying closeness. We lose sight of what matters most. But beloved, take heart. Reconciliation is central to the gospel. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Bring fractured relationships to the Lord in prayer. Ask him for wisdom in extending and receiving forgiveness by his grace. Let every prayer for my family in difficult times include specific intercession for bonds in need of mending. Pray blessings over estranged relatives, releasing seeds of repentance, mercy, and restored trust. Speak life and hope over what feels dead. God specializes in resurrection. Commit to the messy work of reconciliation out of reverence for Christ. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Ask the Holy Spirit to cultivate fruits of patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control as you walk out this journey. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let every interaction reflect the Lord's mercy. He desires your family to abide in blessing and unity. Prayers for God's love to surround families in crisis. When crisis strikes, it's easy to feel abandoned and afraid. Grief, illness, tragedy, and suffering often make God feel very distant. We desperately need to feel his nearness and care. Fortunately, his word assures he will never leave nor forsake his beloved ones. Deuteronomy 31 to 6 proclaims this sweet promise, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. In every prayer for my family in difficult times, plead the reality of Emmanuel, God with you here in the heart of darkness. Cry out for awareness of his presence holding you during this fiery trial. The Lord is near and ready to pour oceans of affection over those feeling forsaken. Lift your hearts expectantly to receive his outpoured spirit. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. Pray for supernatural infusions of love, joy, and comfort from the Holy Spirit. As someone once said, joy is the flag that waves from the castle of the heart when the king is in residence there. Ask God to flood your family with indestructible joy and waves his banner of victory over your home. Take heart, dear ones. His love surrounds you always. Examples of biblical prayer for my family in difficult times. When words fail us in the vortex of family crisis, scripture offers pleadings we can bring directly to God. 1. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. 
Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. 2. Sovereign Lord, you are God. Your words are trustworthy. Restore us again, God our Savior, and put away your displeasure. 3. Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. All day long they press their attack. May these prayers in times of trouble spur you to passionate persistence in your own prayer for my family in difficult times. God hears your weeping and pleadings. He has good plans to heal and redeem. Take heart. Rescue is on the horizon. Learning about our Catholic saints and church history will deepen your faith so much. Prayer is also such an important aspect of growing in your faith. Meditating on the gospel for at least a few minutes a day can dramatically deepen your faith. Are you familiar with the gospel? I believe that you were brought to this video today for a reason. Let's take a moment to think about the gospel and what the religion of Christianity is all about. The Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that we all need a savior because of this. Romans 3.23 Because of this, God sent his one and only son to us to be the atonement for our sins. As it says in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. You see, in Malachi 3-6 God says, I am the Lord, and I do not change. He has always required a blood sacrifice for the atonement of sins. He says this in Leviticus 17:11. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. He also repeats this in the New Testament when he says in Hebrews 9:22, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. This is why Jesus, God in the flesh, had to come into the world and live under the law, which are the Ten Commandments, to redeem those who were under the law. Have you obeyed the entire law of the Lord? Have you ever stolen anything? Even if it was small, have you ever lied? Have you ever not kept Sunday as a day of rest and worship of the Lord? Have you ever looked with lust at another person that you were not married to or done physical things with a person you were not married to? Have you ever desired something that your friend or neighbor had that didn't belong to you? To be honest, it's easy to break these laws because our nature is inclined to sin. The Bible says that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. However, it says in 1 John 1-8 and 9, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a merciful and loving God we serve. Because God loves us so much, in Isaiah 53, 10, it says, Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush Jesus, when his soul makes an offering for guilt. Jesus was born of a virgin, died on the cross, and rose from the dead. He conquered sin and death, and because he rose from the dead, he promises to raise us from the dead after we die too. This is the glorious gospel. The next step after a person has received the gospel is to go to RCIA at your local Catholic Church. You can search for the nearest church on Google and call them to see when the next classes start. If they don't start for some months, you can still meet with the director and get some books to read to tie you over before it starts. I will be praying for you about all of this. This is the road to eternal life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other videos about inspiring saints. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. Make sure to check out the links below in the description so you can grab your We Are Saintly Catholic t-shirt and be a part of our We Are Saintly Catholic community community by signing up for our email list and joining us on Patreon. I give you free saint printables each month, a free We Are Saintly shirt each year, shoutouts, and more in Patreon as a special thank you for being a part of this amazing Catholic community. Are you considering taking a Catholic pilgrimage, maybe to Jerusalem? I've traveled to lots of places, and I'm well versed in the things you may need along the way, so I've compiled a list of links in the description below where you can find cheap flights, car rentals, destination packages, and more. Save this video so you have those links handy and visit our blog to learn about more holy saints that will ignite your faith. I sincerely hope that learning about the prayer for my family in difficult times has brought you a sense of comfort and tranquility. If you found this video to be beneficial, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. Always remember to keep the faith and believe in the power of prayer. May God bless you and provide you with guidance on your journey. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, keep going to church, reading your Bible, praying your rosary, and sharing the gospel. I'm praying for you in all of this.